So we're at the start of day three here at the One Week Wonder, and you know you're making progress when you're making noise. And this guy over here is making lots of noise. <laughs> Thank you. We're just dimpling our way. Yeah, you need earplugs even at home to listen to this, but they're dimpling the leading edge top side of the wings because that's how Sonix does it. But they put everything together, had the, uh, the skins on last night, today, taking the skins back off to do all the uh, deburring, and again, the dimpling on the uh, leading edge of these skins. All right, so our, our late afternoon update, it's about 5 o'clock, and just checking in with Cliff here on the wings. So what's been done on the wings today? We've uh, got the skins on the left wing. It's nearly riveted together by the public. We're putting the skins back in place on the right wing after all the deburring, and we're going to put in several rivets to hold things in place so we can move it outside and let the public rivet it. So there's a lot of work to be done on the wings today. I was here this morning and you're deburring both sides of the skins and then also the ribs. So I imagine that took a lot of time this morning. Yes. You have to basically assemble it all, drill out to the correct size, then you disassemble it all, deburr, then put it back together so then you can start riveting. And through that process, you're able to get one done, which the uh, the, the public or the audience is out there pulling rivets on right now. Yes. I think, from what I can see, we got signatures on one side, so they're on the second side of the wing, so I'm guessing they're a long ways done with it. Awesome. All right, so the signatures have begun. That was like one of the big things of the One Week Wonder is to get, I don't know how many, probably thousands of signatures. Yes. Uh, each rivet that's put in, you're allowed to put in one rivet, so you can sign your name next to each one. So, and I am not entirely sure how many rivets is in a wing. All right, we'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Right, it's the end of the day now, so tomorrow morning, mid-morning, we'll check in to see if, where, this at, where this wing is at here, and also the fuselage. Thanks, Cliff. All right, so stepping over here to the fuselage, let's talk to James for an update on the fuselage. Did you guys just join the front half, like in the last couple hours? Yeah, in the last couple hours, we joined a forward fuselage to the rear turtle deck, just finishing up all the formers right now inside the turtle deck. So you're doing some of the final riveting inside the tail cone? Basically, when I crawl out of here, all this from me aft will be riveted. Done. So what will be the next step tomorrow? Are we going to flip this over and start doing the belly skins? or on the bottom skin on it and getting some of the other components on it, yes. And when do you think we could put the seat pan in and put some seats in this? Uh, hopefully by the end of tomorrow or maybe, maybe Friday. All right, we'll check back with them tomorrow uh, mid-morning. All right, so stepping over to the wing, the first completed wing of the One Week Wonder. We actually have names on here, so explain to everybody what's this about, popping the rivet in the name. We last had 10,000 people pull rivets on the One Week Wonder back in 2018. The public loves it, EAA loves it, and the purpose is to show that anyone can build an aircraft with simple tools, simple techniques. What was fun today is we had a lot of little kids, six, seven, eight. Awesome. We had some old people, 60, 70, 80. I'm getting that area. And in the middle. So we got the adults, we got the teenagers, and we got the younger kids down below. And you'll see it in some of the signatures. So everybody practices outside, pulls a rivet, graduates with a certificate and a pin, and then they come here and they do it live time. Awesome. This is permanent. So one of the guys asked, what are you looking for? And I said, imagine your hand has a white glove. Yeah? Cotton white glove. And I'm feeling the rivets, and I can tell you if any of those tails are sticking out. And you oh, don't yeah, see you'll, feel, you'll feel it right away, won't there's you? There's no blood coming out of my hand, and I'm not <laughs> feeling it with my calluses. The quality is good. 
So the next thing is, are they tip driven? That means the guy that was helping was drunk. His job was to align the gun. And there are no tip rivets. Awesome. These are stainless steel rivets with stainless steel stems with aluminum that has a magnesium, not copper. This is not 24, 20, T3. This is 61, 60. A little bit of work. 60, 61. 60, 61. Yeah. You see this in boats that go fishing yeah. for corrosion. So, so, it look, so it looks like today that you've got this whole side filled up with rivets well, so and filled up with names. Back. What's that again? And filled up with names. So is, is it ready to be flipped over to the other side tomorrow? That's not already done. It's done. That's done. So this wing is essentially done on the skins. The leading edge is still open. There's a process they want to put products into the lightning holes. And that's why they're taped off so that they don't touch. Yet. And from this blue line down, these were kind of like universal rivets. These are countersunk rivets. Okay. I'll check in with you tomorrow morning on the next wing, John. I'll be here. Thank Perfect. you very much. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Aviation Youth Magazine at AviationUSA.com, The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more.